what's up welcome back to my channel i'm jordan Arbery, and this is my daughter oakland's room in this video we are doing a nursery tour so come on let's go check it out so we're gonna start off in this room um, with all the major big items so we have her crib this crib is by baby leto I was in between a couple different cribs, but we ultimately decided to just go with a standard crib since we did get her the snoo as a bassinet. So this is her crib. She hasn't used it yet, but it's really cute. Fits the theme of the room. Um, in her crib, we just have some stuffed animals, which we won't have in here whenever she's sleeping. And then we have some blankets, uh, which we got from TJ Maxx. Here behind her crib, we have a painting that was done by my really good friend Tori. Tori came and just did a freestyle abstract art on the wall. I really wanted to do like a panel wall or use some type of wallpaper, but we don't own this house and don't plan on being here forever. So just want to do something simple that could easily be covered up whenever we leave. Over here we have her swing. This is the munchkin swing. We have one in here. Um, so, and then we also have one in the living room, but this is the one that we keep in here. Next up, we have her dresser area, which there's a ton of stuff here. So we'll start with the things on top. This here is the peanut changing pad. I really love this pad. Uh, a lot of people told me I didn't need a real changing table, but I really like this because the material. If she pees, it just wipes right off and she's already peed on here like twice with me. So it's been easy to just clean it off and just keep it moving. The only thing I don't like about it is we bring her in here after the bath and sometimes it's really cold. So we have a towel or something that we put down over it. And we have a white warmer to the left, some coconut oil. Um, baby girl has been struggling with some yeast under her neck and so coconut oil is really great it has antifungal properties so our pediatrician told us to use that and it really helped clear it up we also got some olive oil which my mom swears by putting on all of her children um, so we have some olive oil as well extra virgin some a d ointment just in case she has any rashes some extra soap and some Burt's Bees baby oil. It smells really good. Her dad loves this one. Then we got some slippers and shoes. These are the only two pair of shoes she has right now. She's only five weeks right now, so she doesn't need a bunch of shoes. But these slippers are literally the cutest thing when she wears them. I just can't take it like my heart melts. And then she has some little brown shoes from Old Navy, a brush, and a clock. And then we also have her changing pad, which actually goes in her diaper bag. All right, so that is the top of the dresser. And then while we're at it, we have our bookshelves. We have these bookshelves from Ikea. Um, so we have four of them. She has so many books and my mom is bringing her more books. So I don't know, we need to find more space for books because it's literally already overflowing. This cuddle bug book is so cute. I love it because she is my little cuddle bug. That's what I call her. And this I Love You So book was the very, well, the very first book that I got her. It's my favorite book to read her. This mirror, which I love. Come say hey to dad. He's recording in the mirror. Can you see yourself? Hey dad. We got this mirror from TJ Maxx. Uh, it was about $60, just wanted something to fit the vibe of the room. We were kind of going for boho, which it's more so shades of brown with a little boho edge on it. Um, we got our dresser from Ikea. And while I completely love this dresser, it was hell to put together. So I would recommend getting a dresser that is already put together unless you just like fun projects and putting things together. So let's go through the drawers. In the top drawer right here, we have her washcloths, and this is not placed correctly. Um, we have her wash her washcloths, her towels, and these are like the covers that go over her stroller. Here we have our diapers and wipes. Try to keep this loaded up with diapers and wipes. Um, then we have over here, we have her bibs, we have burp cloths, we have breast pads and then disposable breast pads. These ones are reusable. And then we have a little junk drawer where I keep like all the boxes of things that we've purchased. 
some manuals and things like that. Over here, we have her clothes. So we have everything kind of organized by size. I got these storage organizers from Amazon. These things have been the best. I absolutely love them. I really, really like these. So we have like newborns, her newborn clothes, newborn uh, onesies. I didn't have that many newborn things. So we just put newborn clothes and onesies in one. We have zero to three months onesies. And we have the zero to three month shirts, three month shirts. We have hats, bows, pants that are zero to three months and a bunch of socks. And then over here is just like the of what we had over on the other side so we have some white onesies and then we have the three to six months for the onesies and three to six months for the sleepers um, and then in these onesies I think it's the cutest thing so we have our onesies that they decorated at the baby shower and this is the one that actually won the prize a little Shit, <laughs> never hurt nobody. A little poop never hurt nobody. I think this is the cutest little onesie. Her auntie Erica made this one for her. And so we have these in here. She wears these a ton. At the bottom we have her swaddle blankets. These are just little swaddle, um, the Velcro swaddles. We have two of these that we just keep in front of here. And then we have some sheets for her bed, sheets for her bassinet. And on the other side, we just have some more clothes. So these are her things that we have that are bigger. So the nine months and I um, actually have a couple six month things down here. So six and nine month clothes are down here at the bottom of the drawer. That's it for the dresser. Uh, we have this cute little hamper. We got it from TJ Maxx Home Goods. Got the little rainbows on it that actually matches the chair that is next to her crib. We have found this little chair. I think it's the cutest thing. I can't wait for her to be able to sit in it. It's gonna be so cute. It has a little rainbow on it. We got it from TJ Maxx. Super, super cute. Next up, we have this little chair corner. This is pretty much for me right now. We have this chair. This is the Baby Leto Kiwi chair and I absolutely love it. We got it from Crate and Barrel. It does have the little outlet on it so that you can plug your phone in. It also has the reclining aspect. It's a rocker and a recliner. So you can go all the way back and just relax. This is like my favorite chair in the house. I love to sit in this chair. And then when it's down, it rocks. So it won't rock whenever it's in the roll back position. And then of course, while I'm in my chair, I have a blanket because gotta keep a blanket. I'm always cold. So I gotta make sure I'm warm whenever I'm in here so I can be comfortable. Then over here, we have a side table for the chair. We got this lamp from Ikea. This table, we got it from TJ Maxx Home Goods. And then on it, we have my pump and some water. Pumping, breastfeeding in general is very thirsty work, so I gotta always make sure I have my waters on deck. We got this rug. It's like a fluffy pink rug from Ikea. Super, super cozy. Even the dog loves to come and lay on it. Um, and then lastly, you know, we picked this room for her room because it's the darkest room in the house. And right now, we actually have the light on even though it's during the day and it's, that's what, gives it its light. So if I turn the light off, it's pretty dim in here with the blinds open, but when you close the blinds, we it automatically gets dark. And so that's just with the blinds closed. And then we also have these blackout curtains. So these curtains are from Target and so is a curtain rod. So this is the room with the blinds completely closed and I'm gonna hit this lamp, which makes this room my favorite. As soon as it's dark, and we have the lamp on. It's just like, ah. It feels so calming in here. I love to just relax in here. Well, that is it. That wraps up our nursery tour. I'll make sure I link all the items for the room down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'll catch you on our next upload. Peace.